Fatima Ali has lived in Barton Hill in Bristol for 13 years with her partner and five children. I used to live in a block of flat. I used to live in a second floor. It's a two bedroom flat. I never used to have a living area. All the rooms are bedrooms. One toilet and one bathroom and uh, the children, they felt like they were in, uh, in a cell or something. It was, it was really small. But in here, when I moved here, it was um, one of the most deprived area. It was it wasn't safe. It was really really bad. We used, I used to have uh, racial harassment. I could not go to the laundry. I could not walk out. I went to the housing office. I, I was crying. I wanted to be moved out of this area. To be honest, at the at the beginning, it, it was that bad. A huge programme of development has had a life-changing effect on residents here. In the late 90s, they received £50 million to rejuvenate the area as part of the New Deal for Communities programme. By next year, Sovereign South and West, together with Solon Housing Association, will have built around 150 affordable new homes to rent and buy in Barton Hill. I dream to live in one of these houses from the beginning when they were building them. It has really changed our life completely. Having your own front door, having a back garden, having, you know, more facilities than what I used to have in the block of flats. I remember in the beginning when we moved in and the children were so excited because they've, ne they've never been in a garden before. So they, I mean, they used to go in the park and stuff, but having your own garden, which is private, and, and just stay in the kitchen and do my, my cooking and the children go to, the, to play outside without me worrying where they're going or what they're doing. Yeah, it's, it's very good, yeah. Just simple people to live in, in a very modern house like this, you know, it's, 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 it's a privilege, it's a privilege. <laughs>